Everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robbie Craig of the Flip Flop Flipper. Guys, let's jump into the hot topic of the day. Inflation, what's going on with the wages? Do they keep up? And how does this all affect real estate and real estate investing? All right, guys, so unless you've been living in a box somewhere, you have experienced the fact that everything has gone up in price. And when I say everything, I mean everything from gas to the price of a dozen eggs to going out to the club, it doesn't matter. Everything's through the roof. Everything's gotten more expensive. Rent has gotten more expensive. Housing's more expensive. Buying a car is more expensive. Whatever it is, you name it, it's more expensive. Guess what hasn't gone up over this same period of time? And guess what never goes up as fast as everything else goes up? So when you have inflation, wages, wages, they never, ever go up as fast. And they never will, right? So you can raise the minimum wage up to $15 an hour and then inflation will kick in and $15 an hour will feel just like $5 an hour did years and years ago. So what do you do about it? How do you live outside of this system so that you don't have to continually struggle to eat, struggle to find the money to get by? How do you get out of these broken systems? This YouTube channel, we talk about it all the time. We're real estate investors. In fact, we're value add real estate investors. We believe that we've cracked the code. We've got the way to get yourself out of the matrix, to find a better path, to live a better life, and it's real estate investing. What happens during inflationary times when you own real estate and you have rental properties or you're doing value add investing is that these real estate assets, they rapidly increase as well. So we've seen this and I've done lots of short content out there. Some of my most viral content actually is about inflationary rents and rents are out of control and what the heck do we do about it? Well, when you own rental properties, in an inflationary time, rents are gonna increase. The values of your real estate are going to increase. So real estate is a hedge against inflation. And real estate will provide you that cash flow that will allow you to keep up with the inflation. So while wages don't rise as fast as inflation does, rents certainly have seemed to. That doesn't mean that that will always be the case. And people ask all the time, I get this in the comments, oh, you're an evil landlord, you've raised the rents just because you can raise the rents. Well, I don't raise the rents just because I can. The market sets the rent rates and we raise the rents because costs go up. If costs didn't go up, we wouldn't raise the rents at all. In fact, we like to keep our tenants in our places for a really long period of time and we're happy to make a small amount of money. What happens is when the cost of everything goes up, the cost to hold houses goes up, taxes go up, insurance goes up, the cost to put a new roof goes up or to buy a new washing machine when they go out or to send the plumber over. This is the really big one and I can tell you that this is an inflationary tale. Just three or four years ago on our rental portfolio, if somebody clogged up their toilet and I had to send the plumber over there in the middle of the night, I would get a bill for $75 to $150 a trip, right? That's what it would cost. The guy would go over there, he'd snake the thing and he'd, he'd say that the, somebody put a sock down the toilet and you know, then we'd bitch and moan about the tenants doing that and it'd be 75 or 100, 150 bucks, no big deal, right? Now that exact same call comes and the plumber goes out there, he doesn't get $150 or $75 or $100. That dude starts at like 450 and goes up to five, 550, 600. Plumbers get paid, the trades get paid. I've got lots of other content on that too. But because of this inflationary time, that service call has tripled or quadrupled. I mean, if, let's just say it was $100 three or four years ago and now it's four or 500. It's at least gone up 400%, maybe 500%. Same thing has happened for us when we talk about things like insurance. So part of that is that during inflation, the price of the real estate rises. So then your insurance goes up because the insurance company is now insuring something that's worth a lot more money. So you're paying more money for it. But that's why rents go up, guys. That's why we say that rents have to go up over time because we have to offset the cost. This is how we make our living after all. And this is what we're encouraging other people who are friends of the channel, who have subscribed to the channel and who maybe are gonna partner with us would become real estate investors because it provides a great life and it does hedge against inflation. And so the question I started to answer a minute ago, what happens if the market says rents should go down? And does that ever happen? Well, yeah, it happened. It happened to us at the start of COVID. We gave a 20% reduction in rents to keep our tenants in place so that they would continue to make monthly payments. We didn't want to lose a whole bunch of tenants because we knew the times were tough. So we lowered rents and then we kept them low throughout this COVID. And now what happened to us is that we were keeping rents down here 
and the rent the market rents just kind of skyrocketed and it's kind of gotten a little bit ridiculous for us so in orlando florida we have several houses where our rent is between a thousand and thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars a month and if we look at other houses in the neighborhood that are identical to ours or maybe not even as nice they're renting for 2000 2100 22 23 2400 dollars a month so there's a massive massive window between what we actually collect and what we could collect if we went all the way up to market rents so we don't chase it guys we try to keep good tenants in our houses for a long time and we like to partner with them so when we're going to raise rents we go to them at the end of their lease and we send them the letter asking them if they'd like to renew. We tell them that we think they're great tenants and that we want them to stay in the house and we'd like to renew, but costs have gone up and we need to increase the rents. This is what the market is. This is what you were paying. Now tell me, Mr. Tenant, do you want to stay and what can you afford to pay? Let's meet in the middle. And we let them give us a number. And hopefully they give us a number that's high enough that we can accept it. In fact, this has worked really, really well for us. So we have some recent content out there about this and it has gone well for us. We're getting not anywhere near up to market rents, but we're keeping our good tenants and we are getting increases of maybe $200 a month on average, probably. So that's pretty good. That's better than if we had sent them a letter and said, hey, we want to raise your rents $200 a month. The kind of feedback that we would get would would not be pleasant, right? They'd be upset. But when we go to them and we tell them that costs have gone up and that this is what the house would rent for on the open market and here's what you pay and we ask them what they can afford, a lot of times they're generous and they, and they tell us what they can afford and they're honest with us. And they recognize that if they were to move out of the house, there's a cost to that and that they would be paying more somewhere else. So my point on this all, I guess, is that real estate is the ticket out of the rat race or real estate is a ticket out of the matrix, right? We talk about broken systems on this channel. It's probably one of the things that we talk most about and pick a system and I think they're broken, right? Like, so I think the educational system, it's broken. Education is cer certainly important. That's why we do this YouTube channel. There's so many ways for people to educate themselves and help make more money for themselves by bettering themselves. So that's a broken system we talk about. Don't get caught in it. These broken systems, they're not there for your betterment. They're often to trap you. What we say is that if you stack skill sets, then you can go in and ask. Once you've mastered a skill set, you can go in and ask your boss for a raise. And if you don't get a raise, you can look for a new job. And right now you have an advantage in that there are more jobs than there are labor. So if you're stacking skill sets, you ought to be able to increase your wage. So while minimum wage will never keep up with inflation, stacking skill sets will Will. And even better than that, if you really are educating yourself and stacking these skill sets, we believe that you can become a small business person, an entrepreneur, or a real estate investor and go do this for yourself. I think and I believe that the system that tells you that you need to get up and go work for the man, that that's a broken system and that the better system is to go to work for yourself. You're going to have to work hard anyways. I've been saying this now for a couple of years as we anticipated this inflationary time and the economy getting a little bit worse. I started to say a couple of years ago, hey, you're going to have to work hard anyway. You might as well work hard for yourself. I truly believe that with all my heart. This is where freedom comes from. You can look in the mirror and you know if you're putting food on the table, it's because you did something. Or you know that if you didn't put food on the table, it's because you didn't do something. But you get to take responsibility for yourself and for your own actions. You're not a victim. You're a victor. And you're going to go get this done. We say all the time on this channel, we believe that there's greatness inside of you guys. So I am encouraging you to become a real estate investor, to become an entrepreneur, to get out there, get out of these broken systems, get out of the matrix, get out of the rat race. So here's a quick recap guys inflation is real everything costs more today than it did just a couple of years ago and what do you do about it you got to get outside of the broken systems we believe that you can do that as a real estate investor and that anyone can do it you don't have to have a silver spoon in your mouth and you can take control of your life so that's three things inflation is real real estate's your way out take control become your own boss those are the three things from this video if you take away something that you like hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, guys. We wanna do deals with people through this community. We're always looking for partners. That's how we expand our business. I'm not selling you anything. I don't have the greatest way. You don't have to do it my way. I simply tell you what we do, how we do it, and we encourage people to go out there and do it on your own. So I hope that sounds good. We'll see you on the next video and God bless.